everybody welcome back to my channel it's your friendly neighborhood makeup hobgoblin here and i have my beauty bay haul so if you are not into hobgoblin shopping content you might want to skip this um but if you're here to see what i got from beauty bay for black friday and it came today which is the day after black friday um then you've come to the right place so, I just want to start off by saying I love the Beauty Bee eyeshadows. I love their 16 pan palettes. Um, and I really like that I'm able to recommend them to people that live in other countries. I am in the US. It's okay. Um, but I want to, you know, have easy recommendations for everybody because I'm not 100% sure where everybody who watches me lives. I know there's a lot of you in the US, but. I know that there's some of you who most likely aren't so first things first um i got all of this for around 100 bucks give or take with some tax um these bottom palettes retail for 25 each so keep that in your head um i'm trying to figure out a way for this video to not be crinkly but i think it's going to be so let's start with the palette I didn't want, but I got it because it was in a set with a palette that I did want, however, the price was really good. And I will say Beauty Bay did not ship my package very well. Uh, I went to bring it in from the house and the box was two boxes closed on each other and it just opened right up. Luckily I got everything, but they do put interior bubble wrap in the palettes. So this is the pastels. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be keeping this one. It does look great. I do think some of these pastels are a bit unique, so maybe I will keep it, actually. Again, I really, really enjoy the Beauty Bay's matte formula. The shimmers are great, but there's something about the matte formula, and I don't know what it is. Next, we have the Utopia palette. This was the one that I really wanted because it was out of stock on its own. So I was super excited to be able to pick this up because I'd been wanting it for a little while. I don't want to say it's for like two shades, but it kind of is. Oops. And Beauty Bay sells other products too, but this was just um, Beauty Bay's brand. So I really liked those purples in there. I just think it'll be a good little palette. I'm excited. Next, we have um, two collabs. I don't even want to try to say her name, and I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to say it correctly, and I did not look it up. This is her first collab. It does come with some highlighters. Uh, I always open these on the wrong end. Um, I didn't buy it for the highlighters. I purchased it for the mattes, so that's kind of pretty. Um, her initial biography is in French, which is really cool, so... Oh, yep. Oh, these highlighters look squishy. These highlighters look squishy like Super Shocks. Keep that in mind. So we've got this top half goes together, this bottom half. I'm okay with this. I bought it because it was um, on sale. <laughs> but I really just... I wanted to collect them all. Is that acceptable to say? Um, and then this was her newest collab, which was a two-pack. And these are really cool. It's like a My Diary, My Freaky Diary. And they come together. And I do feel like um, Beauty Bay is very hit and miss, but their stuff does sell out. Oh, this is so fun. Mm. This palette has notes of green and violet uh, okay I can't read in French I know a handful of things but so this is the first palette look how lovely this shade looks is this shade called doo doo dodo love it either way all right and then the other palette that came in this set and you have you have to purchase them together um but I'm okay with that because I enjoy both color stories but like this is me in a palette. Um, this one says it's romance, rose, 
uh, pink, blue, light purple. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I feel like this could also be a really good gift to give if you have two different people. Um, because I was joking with one of my close friends, my best friend, she was like, um, she's the green palette and I'm the pink palette. And I just think it's really funny that it's us in a palette. All right. And then let me show you some of the things I purchased did come in bundles. So I got a bundle because it was cheaper. So the Brights palette was not on sale. This is the Brights 2.0. And I don't have any big palettes until right now. So this is the Bright 2.0. It was 25 by itself, but it was 22 for the bundle before the code stack. So I decided to jump on the bundle. This one, oh, there's a specific row that I bought this palette for. And you're gonna know, you're going to know. How does this even open? Oh, they put it in here crooked? Oh, okay. Now I guess we're gonna start just throwing boxes. Oh, this, okay, first of all, such fun packaging. I don't want to look. Oh my god. Okay, so surprisingly, I bought the palette for like this row. It looks so nice. The show the shade grape soda. Ooh, I love this. And this would be good too if you just wanted to get one kind of like fun colored palette. Uh, let's look at the brushes. These are the Technodays brushes, which I do have this palette, and I think it's lovely. Featuring a selection of game-changing face and eye brushes, this set is perfect for cre crafting all of your psychedelic festival looks. There's face brushes in this? Alright, well, of course, there's the little... Uh, it comes with eight brushes, and I, I have no idea if you can get this individually. Or, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what this, oh, wait. Wait, that's cute. Look at that. Are there, okay, that's actually quite nice. Especially that there are, is the slip, um, that there's the places to put the brushes. This is actually very, very nice. Okay, so for me, this was basically a free thing because I didn't plan on purchasing it. Um, next, we'll do we'll go by price and what's been out longest. So then the next bundle I got was the Midnight and the Earthy palettes. These retail for $25 each. They were $12.50 each. And there was a stacking um, code. I will say the one thing I don't like, I mean, I like that Beauty Bay package as well, but when I tell you these things take up, these boxes take up so much space because of the bubble wrap. Uh, same thing, so we have to take it out and go sideways. And then, um, let me just get the other one out so I can have them both out. For compare. Okay. So I'll show you the one that was just like an added bonus. Oh, why is there a little brokenness there? Okay. There's just some shadow on the uh, Oh my God. Okay. Look at this. The shade Kava right here, it's screaming to be used. This is beautiful. This is the Earthy palette. It's their biggest, like the green one. They make smaller versions. Um, this is beautiful. And honestly, it's not that big. I know that sounds silly, but I feel like I've seen palettes be bigger or feel bigger. Um, for what you're getting, I think this is a nice size. I'm really excited. There are some overlaps between like the wilderness and things like that, but not everybody was able to get that palette. So, um, being able to get it. This is my baby. I wanted this one so bad. Oh, I wanted this so bad. The shade Lavender Jellies. Oh my god. It's just, it's beautiful. It's stunning. I'm obsessed. And the final bundle that I picked up is a new one. So it features the Berry Palette and the Neutral Palette. 
which is the um, the cool tone one. And the cool tone one just came out. So they were not marked down as much as the others, but they were still on sale. I want to say they were two, so two $25 palettes for $35 and then the coupon code stacked on top. So the berries, I was always on the fence about this one, but being able to get it in that bundle deal is what did it for me. Oh, it's really beautiful. The shade Soda, the shade Rose. Manicure, that's, I like that. Rosewood, these are beautiful. So here's this for the berry toned lovers. Alba, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is also in a positive way what has kept me from going really crazy for Black Friday. And then finally we have the neutrals. This is their newest big one. It's beautiful. Up my alley. This is me in a neutral palette. The only thing I wish is there were maybe one more dark shimmer for the outer corner. Paw, that shade looks beautiful. Cocktail, bangle, iris. Ooh. Cough. I'm so excited to use this. So that is it for the haul. Let me know if you guys purchased any Beauty Bay palettes. And let's jump into the look. For my look today, we're going to go in with the My Freaky Diary. It's a romance palette? This one. I know, I know. Uh, kind of boring, but one of the ones I was most excited for. And I already have, I do have mascara on, but we're just going to work around that. Um, because I did run, I did have to run some errands earlier today. So, let's go in with, um, I think I'm going to start with the shade Regina. And then go into Celeste, maybe? I don't know yet. Or Bunny. Okay, I'm going to just start with Regina on the Morphe Nyan brush, as always. And I'm just going to put that in the inner crease. And it's a soft pastel pink, and it's applying as a soft pastel pink. And plus, I didn't put a white base. I bet if I did do a white base, it would be brighter. Having these palettes with formulas I really enjoy, it kind of makes me want to go through my collection again. You know? Maybe we'll do a pink look with this palette, and I can use four of the shades. Let's do that. Also, uh, excuse the wind. I'm not going to apologize for it because if I apologize for it, that means that I could control it and um, I don't think I'd need to be creating beauty content on YouTube if I could control the weather. Uh, let's go into Passion, which is the darker pink. And I think I'm going to continue with my little uh, stamp, stamp then blend method. There's something about the Beauty Bay palettes that always make me want to go, uh, crazy with color, and I don't know why. Or maybe, like, the Technodays palette, oh my god, I'm obsessed with that little palette. It's a shame they took it off. I think I got it for like four bucks when I got it. Don't know what's happening here. We're just going to... It's like an emphasized shape, okay? It'll all make sense once 
I've intensified everything else on my face. So I'll probably change my blush color, but that's fine. Ooh, I actually have a blush that I picked up from the Ulta Black Friday thing. It's one of the Kylie blushes. Because I only have her old formula, which I loved. But apparently they've reformulated. They changed the formula when the when Cody cause when the Cody company uh absorbed them, bought them. I don't even I don't know. And apparently we're getting Kim Kardashian makeup soon. Um which I loved her palettes, so I'll take what I can get. I really like that um, I went in to just do like a fun pink look and we are going for like glam rock. Proper night out. Oh my god, we just finished watching the show uh, Half Bad, The Bastard Son of the Devil Himself and if you've not seen it, you need to watch it. If you want to feel this show was significantly more deep than we anticipated it to be uh in a great way like it's super serious but my god there are some episodes even my husband was just like Whoo, you know all right now we're gonna go into this we're gonna take the shade crush still the same brush set and i'm just gonna put this on I also think we're going to set up our Christmas tree later today test it out with the kitten see how she does with that I hope she does well because I really do want to put ornaments on the tree uh, if not we'll just put only the new little squishmallow ornaments I got. But then there's a concern if the cat knocks them down, the dog's going to destroy them. So that's also, I don't know, I'll be really upset. I got the set from Costco where it's got like a little nutcracker, a little gingerbread, a mint, a mouse, Uh, what else? A snowman. It's a really cute little set. I really was just gonna do a little everyday eye look. <laughs> Someone said not today. How are you guys doing with Black Friday shopping? I know it's really hard because it's literally everywhere. I have done surprisingly well. So of course I've placed this order. Um, I, I've, I've spent a significant amount less than last year to the point where I want to like scream it from the rooftops. Like, I don't know who I am. I don't know what's going on, but like I'm, I'm doing so well. And I'm so happy and excited and ecstatic and just, you know. I will be getting the Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake collection for my birthday, though. Or for Christmas, sorry. Like, it's the gift. So, I'm really excited for that. Alright, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that purple, kind of floof it up the crease there. Think that looks good because my bang is covering the outer edge of that so now I'm gonna take the shade, shade the shade superstar which is the pink from the palette and it is just a proper metallic pink and I'm gonna just focus it on the inner two-thirds of the lid and maybe, oh yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to slightly angle it up. 
and then I have an idea. Was there a shimmery purple in the sister palette to this one? I don't know. I know there was a matte purple. No, it's just a matte purple, but you know what? I think I'm going to go into it to deepen the look. So this is going to be the shade Dodo. So I'm just going to pat it over. Like a matte smoky liner thing. And like, look, I'm not, it's not precise at all. It doesn't need to be. I'm literally using a fluffy blending brush to stamp on a faux eyeliner. And in my opinion, it looks relatively good. So you don't have to stress out about things like that. You just, just do it. My eyelashes are becoming white. I'm just gonna take my finger again and just re-go over the center, like the center ball of my eyelid, since that's like right in the middle of the mobile lid. Um, I want that to make sure it has that shimmer on it. Okay. And then now we need an inner corner shade, and I think I'm just going to pull it from another palette. I'm going to take this little baby brush. The first palette I have is the neutral palette, which does make sense. Um, is that a shimmer? Okay. I think I'm gonna go in with maybe the shade Rose on my inner, inner corner. It's it's subtle, but I, I want it to be. Because you can see which shades are more um, satin and soft, and then the shades that you know are gonna be really intense. I mean, that's how we're looking, because I already have my mascara on. <sighs> I mean, it became a lot more intense than I anticipated, but I'm okay with it. Look how well they performed. Look how cute this is. And I like the lighter pink as the inner high. Like, it really opens the eye there. All right. <laughs> that's it for today's video thank you for staying this long if you want to watch this uh, little mini tutorial using the Aor Ao Corali Corali I have to look her up especially if she is French I'll watch some of her videos because I love the language of friends I think it's beautiful anyway Thank you so much for watching today's video. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm always on over there. You can always get a hold of me. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one.